Okay, uh, this video, I'm going to show you something that uh, will help you in your reading of the, of the screen. In the previous videos, I used the standard font size, which looks com something like this. I'm going to write uh, Konnichiwa. Konnichiha. Okay, like so. And uh, depending upon your, uh, your monitor, you may or may not be able to read that very well. But I wanted to show you in the next uh, several videos some of these other buttons that uh, we haven't looked at yet. And this one we're going to look at is the very last one, which is the Options button. And when this comes up, we'll see uh, a bunch of things. I'll, let me just scan through them real quick. General. The display, what the display look like, looks like, um, several things. But the one we want to look at right now is the is the um, uh, fonts, and there are two types of fonts. There's the ASCII font, and there's the kanji font. Uh, the ASCII font will will uh, leave that for the moment, but uh, the kanji font uh, we want to make that uh, appear bigger. So how do you do that? Well. As you see here, it says the uh, the uh, it shows all font automatic font selection. So we're going to click that off, and this will allow us to change the fonts. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to and from 16 by 16 to 24 by 24. And let's see what happens when I do that. So I click that, leave this off and then click the OK button. And when I do that, watch the uh, Konnichiwa. You'll see that that becomes uh, bigger and easier to read. So if we can do it for that, let's do it for an um, even larger font. So click on this, go down to 48 by 48, and click on OK. And there we go. That's something you can, you can readily read. OK. So that's, uh, that's changing the font size with the included fonts. Now it may be, based on your system, that you have other kanji fonts loaded. Uh, specifically, I'm going to go down here on my system. I have a whole lot of different fonts. And you may find one that says, oops, that says MS. Mincho and MS Gothic. So let's let's look at MS Gothic for a second here. And if I do MS Goth Gothic at 16 pixels, now I can change the pixel size. On the previous one, I couldn't change the pixel size. And I click OK. Then it looks like our previous um, default font. Well, let's change that to something a little bit bigger. Let's change it to oh, I don't know. How about 72 and see what happens. Now you see we've got a big font there. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. So that's much easier to read. Okay? And uh, just to show you what the other font is there, the MS Gothic, uh, I mean the MS Mincho, this is more of a a newspaper type font, uh, depending on, on what you want to call a newspaper font. But, um, and this, this will allow us to do all of the things we did before select and convert. And so now we have kon, the, the kanji for kon ni chi ha. And you might remember that ni chi is the word for day. So there's how you would say konnichiwa in kanji and kana. Okay? Uh, one other thing I'll show you real quick here is that you may find out on the internet <clears throat> some kanji fonts that uh, are not the, the print type fonts. And I have one of them here called, uh, let me get to that one, it's called ko. Kozuka and brush font, this one, okay. And depending upon you know what you want to be printing out, 
this one is pretty interesting. Um, it looks like it's been printed, written with a brush. So, konnichiwa, and so it's it's kind of uh, uh, handwritten looking. So that's an interesting, an interesting font to use. And if ever you want to go back to the original, all you have to do is click on this guy right here and hit OK, and now we're back to the original font. Okay. So we'll do more with uh, with some of these other buttons here in the in the following videos. All right.